and I'm Amanda and this is Take 10 with Enviro Cleanse where we take 10 minutes out of the day to discuss different ways to live a non-toxic lifestyle. Yep. In the last video, um, we discussed some pretty surprising facts about indoor air quality. Mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so we talked about different um, indoor air pollutants that can be uh, making your home toxic and different ways that you can try to mitigate these toxins in your home. Yep. Um, and we'll link that video in the description if you haven't gotten a chance to see it yet. And um, we also wrote a blog post that has all of this information and that'll yeah. be linked as well. All right, so today we're gonna go a little bit more into some surprising facts. We're gonna focus on four main items that we regularly use in our homes and that can possess harmful toxins. Yeah. Um, three of them seem might seem kind of obvious um, mm -hmm. when you really think about it, but the last one's definitely shocking. Would you For agree? sure, yeah, <laughs> definitely shocking. Okay. So the first item is cleaning products. Um, a lot of cleaning products contain harmful toxins and they can cause things like dizziness, um, allergic reactions, skin irritation, even cancer um, and the nausea. Um, and so we recommend, especially with cleaning products, looking for some non-toxic options. So yeah. look in the ingredient list, make sure there's nothing scary looking on there. Um, and we'll have some more information on that down below in the description as well. Um, and so read the products and make sure that they're not going to be releasing. Yeah, because you don't want to use something in your home that you think is cleaning your home, but really it's tainting your home and making it toxic. Yeah, and then so. you have to clean the cleaning products and it's just a big ordeal, yeah. so it's better to go organic. stop it from the get-go. Yes. And I use organic cleaning products in my home, um, yeah. and they're not that much more expensive. No. Plus, I feel so much better whenever I'm cleaning my house with things that aren't going to make And it's worth to pay a little more to have clean, fresh, healthy air that is not making you sick and... Yeah, irritated, absolutely. So. And they work just as well, yeah. um, I would say. Mm -hmm. um, the second is air fresheners in our home. So we go around our home, if it smells like it's that musty smell or any type of odor that's in the air, we just r right away want to go get the air freshener, spray the air freshener, make it smell all better. But really, these air fresheners could be really toxic to your health. Um, the Natural Resource Defense Council discovered that many air fresheners contain toxic chemicals known to disturb the hormone functions in babies and children. So if you have children in your home or infants, if you're spraying these chemicals, it could be um, impacting your child's health, which is really scary. No mom or dad wants to put their child in harm's way. So, um, and being even informed. if you don't have kids, like yeah. it can affect your pet's health. If For you have sure. Pets. And if not, honestly, just if affects your health and our health should be important to us in general. For sure, yeah. yeah. And removing fragrances in your house, like yeah. after you've had, or if you move into a new home that the previous owner obviously had a lot of like plugins or had a lot of um, fragrances yeah. and stuff, um, those can be really, really hard to get out. Um, yeah, especially if you're sensitive to chemicals and if you have any type of uh, sensitivities at all, these odors can really, and fragrances can really like leave like their lingering odor and really affect your health. So having ways to try to mitigate these chemicals and these fragrances out of your home is really important for many people. Okay, so the third one is really hard for me to say. Me too, because I love them. <laughs> I know, candles. Mm -hmm. I love candles. Me too. <laughs> and they're relaxing, they set mm -hmm. like the mood, and honestly they just smell so good. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing like candles, like the smells in your home, but it could be kind of toxic for I your know. environment. Yeah, so that's the hard truth is that most candles have really harmful toxins inside of them. Um, the EPA reported paraffin wax candles, which is the typical candles we get anywhere. Um, mm -hmm. They release small amounts of hazardous chemicals when they're burned. Chemicals including acetaldehyde, formaldehyde, dioxins, and furans, mm -hmm. and PAH, which is uh, polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons. Wow, that sounds really scary. I know. Those <laughs> words, I swear. I know. If if you can't say it, and you're yeah, biting, and you're, you're putting it in your environment, trying like to pronounce it, you probably shouldn't be breathing it in. Yeah. No matter how good they smell, but not all is lost. Good. Because I still have my candles. Yeah. I have an essential oil diffuser at home if I want to get a mm -hmm. little extra scent. Um, but sometimes, but they don't, it's not as pretty and it doesn't light up and set the environment. Mm -hmm. um, but I know in your house you use um, some more like natural like beeswax. Yeah, and I use soy candles just because I love my candles. I can't give my candles 
can't just not have candles in my home. It's just not who I am. So I will go to alternative routes and do the soy candles where I know that they're not releasing harsh and toxic stuff into my environment. But yeah. I'm still getting that added smell that I want in my home. They're a little harder to find, but definitely yeah, worth it. Definitely worth it. The last most surprising source that we almost never thought about is furniture. Um, the furniture in your home, um, they could be off-gassing and putting toxins into your air. Um, older furniture, especially, that are purchased before the 2000s, they have flame retardants that were um, embedded into the furniture and the fabric of the furniture, and these flame retardants will go up into your air and make your home toxic. Okay, even in more recent years, like we think about the flame retardants and mm -hmm. um, the other nasty things that were in older um, furniture. Uh, so we think about the flame retardants and things such as PBDEs, mm -hmm. which are a bunch of other words I can't pronounce. Um, and those, we think about those in early 2000s and earlier furniture. Mm -hmm. But um, in recent years, they've actually been way more stringent with fire codes. And so there's even more flame retardants in the furniture we have today. Yeah. Um, so a couple things you can do with that is you can if, make an investment and go for organically sourced and free of toxin furniture mm -hmm. um, and they have more natural ways to meet fire codes so you can look up some of those especially mattresses i know there's yeah. a lot that we've come across for sure um, and then if you don't want to invest in a whole new set of furniture using a product that's all natural and can treat the chemicals and the vocs mm -hmm. without using masking agents or fragrances or other toxic stuff or any other chemicals to fight the chemical yeah. um, is the best option. Um, we have the EnviroCleanse Everyday Odor Eliminator, mm -hmm. and it's really, really effective at removing the toxic chemicals in furniture especially. It's for good sure. for any water-safe surface. You just dilute it a little bit, four parts water to one part product, yep. spray it on the source, and then vacuum it up once you're done, and then that really helps get rid of at least the surface-level toxins. The mm -hmm. only thing with that is that they're going to keep rising up like the toxins that are deep down the chemicals that are yeah, way embedded they're still going to make their way up into your air yeah and that's yeah. really scary <laughs> yeah so this all in general seems really foreboding mm -hmm. um so what steps can we take and what steps can you guys take to kind of mitigate those toxins and yeah. make the environment better uh, that's a great question so we kind of talked about a few steps that you can implement to your home to kind of uh, remove the toxins like doing soy candles and bee wax candles as a good alternative or nixing your air freshener all together in your home or even just having a product that can help mitigate the off-gassing of furniture in your home as well. But really our main concern here is removing the toxins that have already made their way up into your air. So yeah, that's where having an air purifier comes into play. And we definitely recommend the EnviroCleanse air mobile air system mm -hmm. um, because that is really good. It has dual stage filtration. So the first stage, it removes all the VOCs and chemicals with our um, with our patented earth mineral technology mm -hmm. in a cartridge. Um, and then the second filtration is a hospital grade HEPA. So it'll remove any particulates and stuff that might be um, irritating your allergies or your asthma, yeah. anything 0.3 microns or larger at a 99.99% .99 efficiency rate. Yes, yeah, that's what efficient. we want. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty efficient. Yeah. Um, and so the first filter, the VOC filter, only has to be replaced every six months or so, mm -hmm. um, which is way better than any of like carbon filters because yeah. those, they fill up by weight, so they could fill up in the first yeah. couple of hours, And actually. act like a sponge and just re-release it back into your environment, which we don't want. Yeah, so. no, absolutely not. Yeah. A lot of times they'll, um, companies that have carbon filters, they mm -hmm. even say things like, oh, it could last up to five years. But that's only if you're living in a completely sterile, non-toxic yeah. environment. Um, but with yeah. the EnviroCleanse air cartridge, it doesn't fill up by weight. It neutralizes and breaks it down. It's not just absorbing. So there's nothing there to be re-released into your environment. And then the second filter, the HEPA filter, you only have to change every two years or so. Yeah, so, so it has a good long life on it. Yeah, there's not a lot of maintenance with it. Yeah. Um, so. Thanks for watching. This is the second segment of Indoor Air Quality with Take 10 with EnviroCleanse. Be sure to like and subscribe down below and uh, stay tuned for our next segment. Bye, guys. Bye. all the smog and combustion mm -hmm. and all of the pollutions that we typically think of, um, but we, for, we don't really process the fact that inside it's so much worse. Yeah, we tend to think that our home is like our safest spot, but maybe not with yeah. all the hidden toxins and chemicals that could be in your home. Mm -hmm.